Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about Salesforce CRM and the six dimensions of knowledge management. So what is Salesforce um, and how does that relate to knowledge management? So Salesforce is a type of CRM system um, and so in the field of information systems, a customer relationship management system or CRM is a process of building and maintaining profitable and valuable customer relationships. Um, so this is achieved by monitoring, um, you know, your customer base, monitoring your customer's needs, um, how service delivery, that sort of thing. Um, and the goal is to improve the business relationships with customers. Um, and in the field of knowledge management, this means um, that you get knowledge about customers, you're constantly improving it, maintaining it, and sharing it throughout the organization. Um, and then this allows employees to use knowledge about the customers to add value um, through their work. So a CRM system collects many different types of data. Um, and I group them in four broad categories. So you have your customer touch points. So that's your internet uh, contacts. So in the Salesforce world, this would be called a lead. Um, so your internet contacts, email and telephone. You have transactional data, such as purchase history. Um, sometimes organizations like to track credit history and your payment history. You also have loyalty and satisfaction data so that's your loyalty programs and different surveys, satisfaction surveys, um, such as SurveyMonkey, Qualtrics, uh, these systems, they have an integration with Salesforce. Um, and you also have your customer lifetime value data. So your retention, um, the share of budget or share of wallet. Um, and then this can also be, you can also track your customer churn um, this way as well. So, so that was the type of data that a CRM system can collect. Now this, so, so that will build the information and in turn will build knowledge. So there are these three main categories of knowledge that are managed through a CRM system. Um, so you have your knowledge about a customer. Uh, so this is what, you know, you would say in the marketing world, um, your demographics, right? And so in this, for this type of knowledge, I gave an example of how many Salesforce instances have an object called account. Um, and an account will have information such as the customer's billing address or the annual revenue, um, these type of information that will tell you, like describe the customer. Um, the next category is the knowledge from a customer. So if you are providing a service, for example, and you need to obtain knowledge from a customer in order to complete your service, uh, this is that type of knowledge. Um, and so I think the quote that I added in the slide um, makes a lot more sense, but the, so oftentimes firms must collect knowledge from customers in order to provide a service the knowledge is then transferred back to the customer to help them understand the enterprise production and the service better, consequently match the requirement from the customers and the products supplied. Um, I also feel like this type of knowledge is very pertinent to consulting. So the last category is knowledge for the customer. So this is knowledge created for the purpose of sharing and allow sharing with the customer and allowing them to use your product better or to troubleshoot. So for this type of knowledge, think of a knowledge base or, or a help desk or frequently asked questions page. Um, and this is also referring to knowledge that is shared amongst customers. So, you know, I mentioned Salesforce knowledge base as like a troubleshooting platform for customers. Salesforce also has a product called Salesforce Community Cloud, which is where 
uh, partners and customers, they can collaborate with each other and share knowledge with each other. So the first dimension of uh, knowledge management is strategy. So when it comes to a Salesforce strategy, from what I found in my research is that customer oriented strategy is best. So really focus on the customer's needs and experience. Um, you might be thinking like what other strategy could exist, but I've worked with organizations before that prioritize, you know, less manual processes or, you know, something that's easier for the employees, but the customer is the one missing out. Um, and so, you know, I will say that I do agree with what I've researched that customer oriented strategy is, is the most successful. Um, and so with that being said, it's important to keep the payoff in mind when it comes to strategy. So I thought this was a great quote, but as firms use CRM, they experience an organizational learning that helps them to use the strategy more efficiently. And so the results of the strategy improve. So as an organization uses their uh, CRM system, their learning improves and they learn more about the customer. They get more knowledge from the customer um, and in turn are able to provide knowledge to the customer. So the second dimension is culture and organizational culture. Um, in the research I found, the, it was synonymous with organizational alignment. And so in order for CRM imp implementation and knowledge management process to succeed, organizational alignment is needed. Um, and that's so that the no knowledge can be disseminated, knowledge about customers can be disseminated effectively throughout the organization. And again, I found this quote in my research really interesting and true because in order for an initiative to be successful, the firm first needs to engineer a change at the organizational level. And I think that this is really important for preventing silos. Um, and again, and then this second quote I found is that employees should be motivated with incentive systems as well as procedural and continuous employee training programs. And I find that the most successful organizations I've worked for, they, you, they have a continuous employee development. They also have incentives for keeping the CRM system clean, um, for providing information and um, you know, preventing dirty data from getting into the system. So that leads us into organizational process. Um, so I found that a CRM system supports many essential processes of an organization. Um, my research, I found that there are pretty much five categories. So that you're starting with your front office functions. You have sales, marketing, and service support. And then your back office functions, which would be your data integration and access, and then data analysis. And then from what we've learned in knowledge management throughout the semester is the cycle of knowledge management. So, you know, you have the creation process and socialization, externalization, combination and internalization. So a CRM system has three types of technology. Um, so you have your, you have operational systems analytical systems and collaborative systems. So an operational system is used for automation and increased efficiency. Analytical is for you know, data analysis, analysis of um, knowledge, and then your collaborative systems. So it's pretty much what I mentioned earlier. So like your community, being able to collaborate amongst partners and customers, um, and it also opens that two-way dialogue up between the company and the customer. So this is um, just like a high level overview of the Salesforce technical architecture. Um, and so pretty much it's built basically like how, what we've learned about in knowledge management class, right? We have data, or if you've taken 
many multiple knowledge management classes, but you have your pretty much your base layer of the data collection um, information and then knowledge and or also known as applications. And then I decided to grab a screenshot of what the system looks like. Um, so this is a screenshot from Salesforce Lightning. So finishing off technology, we're leading into management and leadership. Um, and so this quote I found um, that emphasized the importance of top management involvement for implementing and strategically orienting a company CRM. Um, I very much agree with that. Again, like we talked about with silos, I think that if the change is implemented at an organizational level from the top down, it prevents silos. And I think the biggest hurdle for widespread adoption of Salesforce is the data quality. And so again, if you have that executive leadership and that executive buy-in um, from the top down, um, resources can go into data quality initiatives. And so for this last dimension is politics. So no tech type of technology, technology adoption or implementation is immune to the effect of politics. Um, you know, every organization has limited resources and everyone has their own agenda, it seems like. Um, and so I think that when it comes to the politics behind a CRM system, I think focusing on the return of investment um, and also how building a relationship with customers can lead to, um, you know, all sorts of benefits like being able to provide products that are more aligned with customers' needs, being able to improve customer service delivery, and just a way to set yourself apart from a competitor. So overall, um, I think that these six dimensions, they are key to a CRM's performance. And I found this um, conceptual framework that outlines how the organizational alignment, technology, management, and strategy, um, how that relates to the CRM performance. So in conclusion, um, Salesforce as a KM tool can provide organizations with powerful operational, analytical, and collaborative systems. And this facilitates many different stages of knowledge management process. And so not only are there many use cases of Salesforce CRM, such as Salesforce Community Cloud, Salesforce Knowledge Base, Salesforce Service Cloud, and then the original Salesforce Sales Cloud, there are many types of knowledge that Salesforce can optimize and manage, such as knowledge about customers, knowledge for customers, knowledge from customers. And this knowledge allows organizations to target potential new customers. And it is especially useful for retaining existing customers by being aware and attentive to their needs. And then uh, this was not part of my paper, but I wanted to mention that if you're interested in learning more about Salesforce, I highly recommend Salesforce Trailhead. Um, it's completely free. You can practice on sandbox instances and Salesforce, especially Salesforce Lightning. Um, it's a, in my opinion, it's a very highly sought after skill for marketing sales and operations. Thank you.